So today I'm going to be cooking corned beef. Now I'm starting off this recipe with a cured brisket or a corned or pickled brisket that I did myself at home. And if you're interested in learning how to, to cure your own meat for this recipe, you can check out my YouTube channel and, you know, look it up. Or there should be a link popping up somewhere around here, so click on that. Uh, while you're at it, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tasty videos. Now, you can learn how to cure your own meat for this recipe or you can pick up uh, a, an already cured meat at the grocery store or pickled brisket at the grocery store. But either way, we're gonna learn how to prepare it at home. So if I can do this, you can do it too. Let's get started. some black pepper, a very tiny pinch of salt, rosemary, thyme, bay leaves, garlic, celery, carrots, your brisket, water and Guinness. So you want to start off by adding your water to a nice big pot. Next comes the Guinness. Now the Guinness is not only going to add uh, a beautiful color to your beef, it's also going to add tons and tons of flavor. Now remember, the Guinness is supposed to go into the pot, do not drink it. But, you know, if you have a hankering for some Guinness with your meal, I would suggest buying a uh, couple of extra bottles so that you can enjoy it. So in goes the garlic. Now I left the skin on and I just gave that a chop in half. Next comes the herbs. Now it's important to remember that, especially when it comes to your celery and your carrots, it doesn't have to be a perfect chop. Just kind of give it a, a chop in half and plop it in there. All these things are going in basically to create a stock to flavor your meat. So in with the black pepper and that tiny, tiny little pinch of salt. Next comes the brisket. Now, very important. Wash your brisket before you put it in there. That's going to get rid of some of the excessive saltiness. So get the brisket in with the liquid and the veggies. And we're going to put that on the stove, bring it to a boil, cover it, and then we're going to reduce the heat to a low simmer and cook that for two to two and a half hours. And we're ready for slicing. Now the Guinness, as you can see, gave it a nice little brown color, very subtle, and a beautiful warm flavor. And the texture is just so unbelievable, so moist, so juicy, so soft. It's incredible and the flavor just amazing now you want to slice this up and typically I like to serve it with some boiled cabbage boiled potatoes and boiled carrots and I like to make a little parsley cream sauce and spoon it over top if you want to learn how to make this a really simple sauce I'm just gonna have uh, the method down below in the description box and there you have it a beautifully delicious meal from start to finish